This video includes discussion about marriage and the Sixth and Ninth Commandments. While it is made for children and contains no explicit content, we recommend that a parent or guardian be present to answer any questions that may arise while watching. Turkeys, come on! I'm legit. We're legit. I'm too legit to quit. Oh no, he's getting it on me. <laughs> friendship bracelets right there. We were doing it because we're friends. The bracelets represent our friendship. Last year we used these strings to represent a covenant. What's a covenant, Erin? A covenant is a promise that lasts forever. That's right. One of the things that we're going to talk about today is a marriage. A marriage is a special covenant between a man and a woman. A marriage is an unbreakable bond. And we're going to read Matthew chapter 19, verse 6. So they are no longer two, but one. No human being must separate then what God has joined together. So that's a Bible verse about marriage and how what God has bound together, we cannot separate. So in a marriage, it can't be unbound. In a marriage, the man and woman become like one person, even though they're still separate individuals. And that's why it's so important for in a marriage to have trust and love. So having a foundation of trust is really important and that's why when we made our friendship bracelets, we tied them really tight to start because we wanna make sure that they won't fall off, especially if something tries to make them fall off. So if we go swimming or anything that could make them if we go to a farm, yeah. there's a goat and it tries to eat it off. <laughs> <laughs> right, so if something would try to test the strength of the bracelet, you want to make sure you start out with a very firmly tied bracelet. So in the same way that our bracelets represent a covenant, the wedding ring in a marriage represents the covenant between a man and a woman that they are um, entrusting themselves to each other. So there are four things that a marriage should be. Um, we want it to be free, total, faithful, and fruitful. Free means that you have to give of yourself freely. So you can't be forced to get married. Um, you have to be willing to do it. Um, it has to be total, meaning you have to give your whole self and hold nothing back. Um, and you have to be faithful. You have to be true to that other person. And you have to be fruit. It has to be fruitful. So you have to ha be open to having a family. Also with being total, it means um, you can't be married to, and you know, you can't be married to two people because you can give yourself wholly to two people. So you can only be married to one person. So a good marriage is based on trust. We should be able to trust our spouse in the way that we can trust God. So it reflects how God is faithful to us. So the sixth and ninth commandment: guard against anything that might hurt or or um, or dent this covenant. Um, what are what are the sixth and ninth commandments, Erin? So the sixth commandment is you shall not commit adultery. And the ninth commandment is you shall not covet your neighbor's wife. Yeah, so these commandments guard against um, being unfaithful to your spouse. So we want to be completely dedicated to that one person that we're married to. So a couple examples of things that would go under the sixth and ninth commandments are something like being married to more than one person and also um, wanting to be married to another person when you're already married so someone who isn't your spouse what else or like acting like someone is married to you when they're not because um, mm -hmm. that's that would be a lie um, so yeah a good and healthy marriage is attainable it doesn't always happen because of our fallen nature, but with the grace of God, we can be confident that it can happen. So in the ninth commandment, when it says, you shall not covet your neighbor's wife, God doesn't just mean your neighbor like the person you live next to. When he says neighbor, 
he means everybody. So everyone is our neighbor. But that also includes our next door neighbor. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so the sixth and ninth commandment tell us the things that we shouldn't do to have a good marriage. So it guards us against going astray from what we should do to create that atmosphere of love and trust in a marriage. So not all marriages are going to be perfect, but with the grace of God, we can have beautiful and yes. committed marriages. So the commandments are in place so that way we can live in freedom and harmony with each other. So that way our families are a place of love and nourishment. And so that way we can all interact perfectly with each other. Um, and they let us be free. I think a lot of times when we think of freedom, we think of doing whatever we want, but the commandments guard us against doing things that would hurt us or hurt other people. So that way we can be truly free, which is in God. Beautiful. Okay, that's a good end. Let's roll away. Okay. Let's have a, a cut of us just rolling away. We get hard, hard it. Cut. Let's just do <laughs> Bridges, oh, baby. What does that even mean? The friendship bracelet covenant.